Next on Andy Mac. I told Jonah that I just want to be friends, but he still thinks we're a couple. Either way, I should probably invite him to the Moon Festival party. You've outdone yourself. It's beyond Chinese New Year. Please tell me this doesn't mean what I think it means. She invited Aunt May. Isn't it wonderful? Mothers and daughters together bonding. It's so stressful, saying the right things, wearing the right clothes. I don't know what we're going to do about this mess. If I were you, I'd break up with me. Do you want to break up with me? Jonah, don't be so ridiculous. Of course she doesn't want to break up with you. Because she already has broken up with you. What's going on, YouTube? Ah. So, season three has just started, and I, we just got done with the first episode, and you guys know what that means. That means it's time to react to the promo for the next episode. And, um, it looks like, uh, Andy wants to just be friends, and Jonah can't take the hint. Huh. Is this... It's feeling a lot like deja vu. Why do I feel like this has all happened before? I don't know. It's just, it's weird, you know? Um, and also, it looks like Jonah is, like, you know, really freaking out in the promo, like, about some some so, so, some uh, social setting that he's going to be going to, and he's freaking out over what to wear, what to say, you know, basically his anxiety, you know, doing its thing again. Um, and Andy feels like it's, it's, it's a good idea to um, still invite you know, her ex-boyfriend that can't take a hint to things, because that's, that's a good idea, clearly, um, yeah, honestly, people, at this point, I don't see how anybody could possibly ship Jandy, I'm sorry, this ship is just stupid, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say it's, like, listen, I didn't like Jandy from the get-go for my own personal reasons, but now it's just getting to a whole new level. Like, my, my own personal biases aside, this ship is stupid. I'm sorry, people. I mean, I don't even... To be honest, I don't even see that many Jandy shippers in my comment section any, anymore, to be honest. So I think most of you guys are starting to agree with me. Um, I mean, I don't see how you can... I don't see how you can, like, 100% get behind a ship where one moment they like each other and they want to date. The next moment, they don't. The next moment, Annie doesn't know what she wants. Then, then the next moment, she's crying over Jonah because he's going away. And then the next moment, she just wants to be friends. It's like, how can you get behind a ship like that? Like, they're all over the place. And speaking of all over the place, I've seen some criticism being thrown towards the writers lately about how their writing is all over the place. And, um... When I sit back and think about it, I kind of agree to a certain extent. Well, not really. A, I, I just agree. <laughs> I, I just, I, I agree. It has been a little over. I mean, I'm hoping that this all has some type of like, I'm hoping that it just seems like it's all over the place. You know, even though it kind of, it is, but at the same time, they still have a clear vision in their mind on, on like where this is all going. Like this is all going to make sense when it's, when it's all over with basically is what I'm hoping. And they're not just kind of winging it. You know, like just, you know, like every other, you know, like they just have like a new idea every week and it's like it, it, it contradicts what they wanted to do the previous week. And, you know, I hope it's not like that, because if so, then season three is probably going to be trash. But, um, you know, I have a lot of hope for it. You know, I, 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 I if you if you do still ship Jandy, please tell me in the comment section. Sh tell me in the comment section why you ship them and, and why do they make sense to you and why you still want them to be together. Because I just, I don't see why. I don't get it, people. I really don't. But, um, yeah, besides that, um, nothing else really happened in the promo. I don't believe that I really want to discuss too much. Um, still waiting for Amber to come back. We still, oh, you know what? I hate to say this. Tyrus might actually be the best ship on the show right now. And that's coming from somebody that I don't even, I don't even ship Tyrus. But at least Tyrus isn't going back and forth and back and forth with their feelings, you know, feeling one way one week and another way a different week, and then, like, breaking up and then getting back together and then blah, blah, blah. So at least Tyrus has at least, at least for right now, some stability. But then again, <laughs> let's wait until the new guy comes. <laughs> that's, I'm pretty sure that's going to all be down the toilet. But anyways, people, let me know what you guys thought about this promo. Uh, what do you guys think about the writing and whatever direction that you think the show is going into? And, um, you know, let me know about, let's let me know about how, how you feel, people, talk to me, talk to me, alright, but anyways, I'm about to get out of here, people, 
Until next episode. Until next time.